image as this morning. I'm really going to miss this place. Day four of being in Scotland. Um, I'm still enjoying it. It did drop quite cold last night.
So I'm now on the water and it is so bliss. It's so quiet. I can't believe how peaceful it is this morning. It's got that silence where like your ears start to ring, which is so nice. But yeah, it's lush. No rain. So uh, it was good that I didn't rely on the rain for drinking yesterday. Um, packed up this morning, had my breakfast, my homemade porridge. I bought, made up some porridge sachets before I came and a coffee. And then packed up everything and the, um, the water had really come in this morning. So it is tidal. And then as I was packing up, I swore I saw a seal. There was a head above the water that was swimming. Touch wood, it wasn't a shark. <laughs> uh, I watched Jaws before coming here, so that wasn't a good idea. But the midges are really bad. Last night, they were awful. There's a point where you just can't stop them getting into your tent. But apart from that, look where I am. It is so stunning. And the sun's coming out. It is lush. So quiet. I'm going to miss this, I really am. I looked at my map and um, <laughs> the bottom of this lock is open and it is a long lock, like it goes on for a long way and before coming I didn't set out any plan where I wanted to get to but if I do get there that would be pretty cool but the water's like glass, it's so nice, I'm so happy to be here. So just over there, there was two sills and then I've seen two small little otters. I think they're sea otters. And I remember the people yesterday saying that they saw them. So they keep popping up near my boat and there was two sills just laying on the rocks there. And now they've gone in the water. A couple of houses over there. It is crazy how remote they live. There is no roads near here. I don't know, there's no shops, there's no town. So they must have to row into Oban or something. You can still see the seals' heads above the water. Or it's the otters, I don't know the difference. I really don't. I'm uh, clueless when it comes to sea life. But you can tell we are heading into the sea more, like seeing them starfish under the water, um, seeing the seals and the otters, and um, even like the rocks and just the scenery looks more like the sea. But I think it is the mountains are getting flat around here and it's opening up into more forest and sea. Crazy living there. That's a bit of me. <laughs> oh. 
I've just stopped at this lovely beach area. Been paddling for about two hours, I'd say, on and off. And I've got my first bit of signal that I've had in ages. So I just looked up the weather and it says it's gonna be raining all afternoon, like heavy rain, all night, and for the next few days. So, yeah, that would be interesting. It's been so nice and I thought I've had it really lovely. Thank you so much Todd, one of my lovely Patreons, for giving me this beef jerky all the way from the US. It's been great for fueling my trip so far. So just an update, I carried on up, I collected my water and carried on up, I thought I'd get in some more distance and the wind started to get up really badly and um, yeah it was quite dodgy at times. Yeah the waves are absolutely crazy, obviously I'm getting closer to the sea so and there must be a storm coming in. So I come to this bit here and I was worried I was going to smack into the rocks because it's all rocks all along here. So I'm either going to make camp here or wait for it to calm down a little bit. Right, tonight on the menu I have chilli stew with beans. It is a vegan meal, so it would be interesting to try. And that's what's great about this make. They have foods for people with each different um, diets. So you could be vegan, vegetarian. This is lactose free, milks free. Um, and then they've got different calorie contents. So... Yeah, they are great um, and they suit everybody. They come in so many different flavours. I haven't chose which one's my favourite so far. I've loved them all so much. I've had chicken tikka masala, um, spag bowl last night. I had a pulled pork one and the, the muesli, the chocolate muesli was oh, the one. <laughs> And then obviously this one. You've got to wait eight minutes for it to cook. So I think I'm nearly there. And I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be good. And this has 567 calories. So they do have quite a lot of calories in them. And you can get ones with more. Stay. Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find 
your beautiful side in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light streets all alone All you can see Thinking about what your life came to be You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light So I'm currently tent bound with the rain. Obviously I don't have to be, it's not too heavy now. Um, but I write in my journal most evenings anyway. So that's what I've been doing and made myself a coffee. So yeah, it's pretty cozy really, just sitting out of the rain. I've also over the past, how many days I've been here, I don't even know now, um, been watching the water a lot obviously because I'm facing it all the time but because I've been paddling in it and watching it I've realized the well I've worked out the tide times and I think that was a big problem for me today and the reason why I struggled obviously with the wind as well but um yeah the tide was coming in and the wind so it just made it a real struggle and I've just been trying to work out what went wrong and everything so yeah I'm I've just been chewing over what to do tomorrow do I carry on further or do I head back I've got a few more days and I've noticed the terrain is a lot flatter this way and I think you do, the further down you go, the more into civilization you go. You get wet now, the rain's come back. Excuse the underwear all hanging up in here. <laughs> um, I'm in a quandrum. I don't know whether to keep just heading down. And I think eventually I will just hit Oban because the lock is a lot smaller than I thought it was. I thought it was about 30 miles. Turns out it's about 16 roughly um so yeah i don't know what to do now like it would be nice to get to the bottom it's forecasted heavy rain like heavy heavy rain high winds and thunderstorms for the next few days so i'm just trying to make my mind up what i want to do the way that i started and just focus more on fishing and things and maybe do a catch and cook and just enjoy cruising about or keep on heading down. I think if I did keep heading down then I would have to get maybe a coach back or a bus back because I need to get that cabin like I said um, for next week or well, not even next week now. Um, so yeah, I've got deadlines to meet now. That is what I'm chewing over. Amazing how your priorities change when you're, I don't know, when you're outside, you just, you gain different perspective on everything. And you realize you should just be working out simple things like this. Oh, I had a frenzy last night. I woke up uh, like constantly scratching because, <laughs> because of the bites, not because I haven't washed in how long, but yeah. But here, they are catching up with me all down my back all on my hips on my neck the back of my neck my face 
near my eye. I have been using Smidge this trip. Skin So Soft is one to go with, but I've been using Smidge and that seems to be doing the best it can. And then obviously wearing the, that head net jacket thing. I just clocked how I looked at this hat right now. Um, yeah, the midges are back, so I've, packed, I've just put this cap on for the time being, because I'm about to go to bed. I was going to share something. The most satisfying thing that I live for, just as I was doing it, I thought I'd film it, is talking your feet and putting on dry socks when you've been wearing wet shoes all day. So I've been wearing them water shoes that are great, like they're amazing, but they don't keep your feet dry. So I've just been living in wet shoes for how many days I've been here. Which, yeah, your feet looks like they've been in the shriveled up. <laughs> so you put in, I've bought a, ba um, a bag of talc and powder. It looks dodgy that, <laughs> but I bought that with me um, instead of bringing a bottle. Just looking at my GPS again, it is just, I, so I am just under halfway of the lock, of the whole lock. So I think it's the same again, but two miles extra if I did go right to Oban. Um, well, not right to Oban, but the road to Oban. Um, but I was looking and there's loads more roads. Well, not loads, because we're in Scotland, but there's more roads that way than there is the way I've come. So it's not as remote, which can be a good and a bad thing. So I think what I'll do, get up tomorrow, see what the weather's doing, see what the tide's doing, and then just plan it on that. Take each day as it comes. I'm just going with the flow with this trip. I didn't come here to set out big mileage and thrash myself and prove myself to someone or to YouTube. I just come because I just felt I needed a break. Not just, I just, you know you get them times where you just want to go on a trip and you want to self-reflect and think things through and I just bought my pat raft, I just really wanted to try it out um, without any expectations and I think that's when you get your best trips and you feel most happy when you don't plan things out and expect too much and force yourself to be happy and whatever I'm off on one now I could talk about this sort of thing for hours but um, instead I'll just talk about how good it is to talc your feet oh that feels amazing you would not think I am on YouTube <laughs> looking like this with my underwear hanging up what has life come to just chatting here to thousands of people looking like this getting attacked by midges talking my feet there's no F's given <laughs> okay night everyone thanks for watching morning campus it is half four in the morning um so i didn't stick to it just woken up and yeah i'm gonna get a brew on maybe make some breakfast or make it later on and then start packing all my stuff up i think it is drizzling a little bit it's windy out there that's for sure but I will speak to you in a minute. So I need to wake up a little bit now. <laughs>